these are the pieces to a greenhouse that I got. Um, they're supposed to be, I believe, 10 by 12. Unfortunately, I don't have any instructions for it. And uh, I can't find anything online about putting it together. There's not anything on YouTube about it. It's also got a little bag of fasteners. This is an out sunny out um, greenhouse. Looks pretty nice on the picture, but that's all I have to go by. That's what we're doing today. These are the bags of the connectors, miscellaneous. I guess those are supposed to be the stakes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of wind they have from where they're at, but. Okay, so I have these two poles. And two are flat. Both of them are flat on both ends. One end. And then this has got a little button on it. And this has got a little hole on it. And the button goes in the hole. And it makes a long pole, like that one there. And that's the first thing I've done. I'm going to do it again. Okay, next, I figured out, <laughs> I decided to set up the top, because I know this is part of the top. But on here, if you look, I've got it already put in there. Remember I said those buttons? They had buttons? Oh, thank you, Cosmo. There's buttons here. Now, on this top, it doesn't have a hole clear through. So the ones that don't have... Here. The ones that doesn't have a hole clear through. The ones that have holes clear through don't have the buttons. I'm not sure what they have yet. But that one didn't have a hole clear through. Um, this one didn't have a hole clear through, so, and I've got the rest of them. I put this side on. Oh, and this is, uh, let's see if I can find the number. This one's easy because it's a little bitty pointy one. It's got a hole clear through the top. Evidently, that's where the top piece goes. This one is, I believe, number seven. It's got the dots on, or the little button things on both ends. And then a curved piece that goes to number seven. Let's see if I can find its number. Yeah, the curved piece is number two. So you got the pointy piece and number seven and number two. And they all fit together so far. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them. I've got four more or three more to put together. I'm going to do that. Okay, the little top piece is number 10. So it's number 10, and then you put on number 7 with the buttons. It's got a hole in the bottom, but not in the top. On both sides. And then the number 2. And we go from there. Okay, I got all those done. They look like that. And there's four of them. And that's what that looks like. Okay, I decided to try hooking these number threes onto the ends of the number twos that I just put together. For the simple fact that there's eight number threes and there's eight ends, and we'll see what happens. I was wrong, that was number four. This is four. So it goes five, four, six. And that's clear along the bottom of one side. That's the bottom. And we're going to attach three to number four and six right here. 
three is part of the top. Okay, let me get that now. Okay, I found out why the screws are so big. You have to hook a lot of stuff together, especially on the end. Down here we've got the big one, the top, and there's a number three here, and then it hooks to this flat one here. The numbers wore off a bit. <coughs> I'll let you remember the base one that I put together at the very beginning. And it hooks on to that one, and the number three, and I think this is a number six. And then it hooks onto this flat-ended one, number 12. And it's flat on both ends, like that. And it hooks there, it's a brace, it comes across to be a brace. You'll see how it works. And that's all on one screw, and I don't know if I've got that on the right side or not. I might have to take it apart and put it on the other side. If I do, I do. I put it on the outside. We'll see how it works. Anyway, you got to do that on all four corners. And then in the next one, you put a top piece on. On this screw here. So number three to this. I believe that's the number seven. The next one that attaches. That's six, this is seven, and that's five down there. So, anyway. So I take that out. I'll put this one in, and it will attach it to the metal. And then we'll go from there. I got it put up. You can see it's about as far away as I can get to it from it. And it wasn't that hard. It had been a lot easier with instructions. And I ended up putting... I think it's five, four, six in the middle, just like on the bottom. There's a four in the middle, and the five and the six on the end. And this I put on the outside. You probably want to put it on the inside. I'm not putting the skin on it for a month or two. Because, just because. But I'll probably take it apart and put it back on the inside. So I won't poke a hole in the skin. I did that all around. I put the very top on last. Of course, I didn't have a ladder. So I just stand on the chair. I only dropped one nut, the whole thing. And I was pretty happy with that. And it came out nice and big. It's a lot bigger than I thought. I'm sure it'll get smaller. I made a nice big room. And it's cute. And it's all together with the metal screws and bolts. And it only took me, I don't know, four or five hours maybe. That. Maybe only three. The hardest part is figuring it out. Yeah. Anyway, maybe I'll take another one. I hope this helps people uh, get theirs together. I didn't have any instructions. I didn't even have the parts list on it or nothing. But I used everything except for the skin and the tie downs and I think I can do better with the tie downs. When I put the skin on it, maybe I'll bring it back to you like I say. I'm gonna have to take those and put them on the inside but other than that and tighten everything up. I have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> You need a pair of pliers or at least a something to put on those nuts because the, the pliers or the the little tools they provide the little allen wrench is fine but this little thing they have for a wrench is just a joke and you can't hang on this is what they give you for a wrench if you've ever used anything like that, you know what I'm saying. It's get a get a pair of pliers. It would have saved me an hour or so. And even at that, it came out nice, and I'm happy with it. We'll see how it works. 
I'll have to put a hide over it of some sort. It's too hot, too cold, too, too, too. Anyway, that's it. It wasn't hard. It's frustrating sometimes. So if this helps, I'm glad. I hope you have fun with yours. If you can do better, go for it. The top is the same as the sides and the bottom. The one across the bar, across the top. If you can get two people to help, it would probably help. If, you, if there were two of you, it would help a lot. It's always handier to have someone hold the other end. Or even the camera. Okay. Okay, that's all. I went ahead and changed the side struts. And I looked at the picture and it shows them going this direction instead of the other direction. So I changed them all up. And I put these little little white deals in there on the ends. The bottom and on the sides and on the top too. So I changed them all on all four corners. So it's all ready. I put a cloth down. All ready for the skin. Which is, I forgot to say. These little white things. You have to tap them in. They kind of squishy together. And then go in the hole. But you've got to tap them in. And I didn't have a hammer. So I just used a little board. And it just went right in there. No problem at all.